Our family in Niagara Lake is all mixed and blended. Jay and I have a son together. I have two sons from a previous marriage, and Jay has a son with his ex-wife as well. We're trying to look for a present for my boys for Christmas. He came from a litter of unwanted pups, so we scooped Tucker up, and he's been with us ever since. Tucker is like the boy's best friend. Where the kids are, Tucker is. Keegan basically had all of his firsts with Tucker, like his yeah. first everything. What was his first word? Tuck. 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 <laughs> he kind of knows, you know, when you need him, and he'll kind of come and cuddle up and hang out and look tears off your face to being outside and running around and just being fun and goofy. The two older boys went to their dads to sleep for the night. We had the two younger kids home with us. We were in bed sleeping. I heard Tucker barking. Tucker's up, he's barking, he's growling, he's pacing around my bedroom and he jumps up on my bed. He is like pawing at me and I said, Jay, get up, something's really wrong. So Jay kind of fumbled out of bed. As soon as Jay opened the bedroom door, all you could see was this bright orange wall of fire and like the whole room just lit up. The fire alarms hadn't gone off because there was no smoke in the house. Where the fire had started, all the smoke had bellowed outside. When the alarms went off finally, we would have never got out of that house. Jay said, I'll, I'll go get Cole, you go get Keegan. We'll meet you outside. You have a two-story, fully involved structure, total loss, defensive attack on the main house. It looked like a fully consumed two-story home, uh, essentially on arrival. With the fact that this fire started outside of the main living area and was progressing on the exterior of the home, Tucker was able to provide that advance warning even prior to the smoke alarms activating. So I consider Tucker to be a hero. The fire marshal came and he was unable to determine the exact cause of the fire. We know for sure the fire started in the garage. Um, unfortunately, it was just too far gone to tell us exactly what was the originating cause. I literally watched everything that I had worked for and literally be eaten by this fire in front of me and there was nothing I could do. I had no clothes, I had no toothbrush. It's very surreal. Four of us are alive because Tucker got us out of that house that night. Dogs have a very keen sense of smell, which alerts them to even very subtle chemical changes in their environment. And this is likely how Tucker was able to sense the fire ahead of his human companions. Then with his excellent communication skills, he was able to not only wake, but also alert his family to the dangers so they could all escape in time. Hard to think what we would have yeah. done if he wasn't there. We'd either be dead or jumping out a window, breaking our legs. But yeah, he's definitely our hero. So we have an exciting news. Tucker's being inducted into the Purina Animal Hall of Fame. Aww, I'm gonna cry. I already am. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you would know what he'd done, if you'd understand it or be able to comprehend what he did. Here you go, buddy. I love you too. <laughs> yeah, I know. You saved my life, I know. We're super blessed and very lucky that we have him and had him that night. And yeah. I don't like to even think about if we didn't have Tucker that night. 